go say hello. <laughs> Take a look. Not that pretty. Now he is one of our many rescued and non-releasable dolphins. That's like a whole thing here. We have dolphins who are deemed non-releasable, um, and that's why we care for them so closely. Now he was rescued back in 2019. At that time, he was found stranded on Sanibel Island, which is pretty close to here, and he was brought in for rehabilitation. During his rehabilitation, he had a hearing test, um, and his hearing test revealed that he had hearing loss in his echolocation range. Now, dolphins need their echolocation to survive in the wild. Um, it's pretty common that the water clarity, wherever they are, is not always crystal clear. They can't depend solely on their eyesight to get around. Um, and it is also dark out sometimes, so they may not always be able to see right through the water. Now, dolphins depend really greatly on sound to navigate their world and to hunt for their food. And without the ability to do that, Rudy actually straightened himself being very underweight, um, and he was a permit to be not releasable because of his lack of ability to hunt for his food in the natural environment. He's currently about seven years old, and he's a permanent resident here in Cape Korea. And because he's a permanent resident, that's when we start to build a positive relationship with him. So you see Katie in the water with him right now. Um, and one thing that we spend a lot of time with is spending time with our animals, ensuring that they enjoy every aspect of their life here. And we also start training them through positive reinforcement training. What that means is we're going to ask them to do certain behaviors with the use of a cue. And then they have the choice as to whether or not they want to do it. So if we ask them to do a behavior, and then they are correct in their response, that's when they're going to receive something that they really like. Then what do we think a dolphin wants as a reinforcer? Food or fish, right? These guys will eat about 12 pounds of food every single day. But as you can see, Rudy also likes a good back rub. He likes to receive some of his favorite toys. All of those things can tell him good job. And with that style of training, we can train these guys for a few important reasons. One of the most important reasons is for their health care. That's something that Rudy is going to work on um, in this training session is how to receive in hydration. Now, in the wild, dolphins would get all of their fresh water from the live fish that they're eating. Here at the aquarium, uh, we can feed them a diet of restaurant quality fish that is frozen and then thawed out. So it does lose a little bit of its natural water content. Um, and sometimes dolphins will maybe not want to eat if they're not feeling well. So it is very important that we train them to receive hydration um, in the case that that happens. Now Rudy right now, he's learning to allow that hydration to happen. And what we're specifically working on is him keeping his mouth wide open as that tube is presented to him. So you can see us putting that into his mouth. We're looking for him to keep his mouth open and relaxed, allowing that tube to pass down into his body. Now, often fish who don't have a gag reflex like humans do, in fact, they swallow their fish whole, and Rudy eats fish that is much larger in diameter than that tube, so no big deal for him. But we do need to teach him to allow that tube to pass so that we can funnel fresh water directly into his belly. Now the next area of training that we focus on with these guys is for their cognitive stimulation. We all know that dolphins are really smart animals. And in the natural environment, they're constantly thinking and problem solving to find their next meal or to evade a predator. Now, Rudy doesn't really have the same challenges, but it is important that he still gets to exercise his brain. And that's why we're constantly teaching or training something new. Even if it's something cute and silly, the process of learning something new is important for these guys. Now, what Katie has in her hand is a target pole. And one of the first things that they learn is how to touch and follow that buoy with their face or with different body parts. And that is our communication tool to Rudy. So we can't tell him in words how 
how we want him to move, but we can't show him with our target what we want him to do. Now right now, Rudy is learning a behavior that we call flip fling. So he's learning, <laughs> he's learning to kind of do a dolphin handstand to put his little tail flicks in the air, and he's then learning how to do a big kick so that one day he can splash all of you guys in the crowd. So what Katie is doing is she's teaching him that handstand here. So we're looking for him to bring his tail up. She's then going to give him a little tickle on the bottom of his tail area. And as he does a little kick, we're looking to capture that splashing motion. Eventually, we can put this on a cue. And Rudy will know that that cue means to do a little handstand and then to do a big kick. So there's the cue. It's being followed by that instruction.